little bit, but we want to turn our attention to what Purdue is doing because it's incredible. In 2015, they had the last place Big Ten recruiting class. 2016, last place. 2017, last place. Jeff Brom has come in and entirely changed the entire culture of recruiting, including a guy like Malik Carr, the number four stayer, player in the state of Michigan. You got a guy in a running back, Tyreek Murphy, the Love number him. one player from the state of New York. These are all guys that Jeff Brom has brought in. And sure enough, Brom is good enough to join us now and talk about this class. Jeff, another historically good class for you at Purdue. What to you stood out about this group? Well, we were really excited about this group. I know our coaches uh, and our recruiting uh, director and Aaron Hodges and all of our guys are putting a lot of hard work uh, to make sure we identify the best prospects that we think fit. And uh, we think we got playmakers and we got some things that identify the needs we have. We're excited about the ability of a lot of these guys. I think they can come in once again, like our last class, and play early and showcase what they're all about and have a lot of fun with it. You said they could play early. You proved that happens. George Karloftis last year, David Bell last year were guys we were talking about who not only played early, but were great early. Give us an idea of a name or two who, if they work hard and have a good summer, we could see them this fall. Well, we think there's quite a few. I think uh, when you think of Malik Carr, receiver, and Abdul uh, Rahim, a Rahim, a receiver as well, who's an outstanding receiver, uh, a lot of big playmakers, Tyreek Murphy at the running back position. Uh, really, there's probably more uh, a handful. Greg Hudgens at the defensive end position, Bryce Austin at defensive tackle. A really uh, a good group of players. They all have displayed that they uh, – are physically uh, pretty put together uh, and ready to play. I think they're going to come in. A lot of guys are coming in early as well to, to get started, but we're excited, and they're going to be out on the field. Uh, we're going to uh, give them a chance to showcase what they're all about, uh, but they are playmakers, and they're guys that uh, we feel great about, we've built a great relationship with, and we're going to give them an opportunity to come out here and showcase what they're all about. We talked about Malik Carr. He's a tight end, but, geez, he catches just about anything that gets near him. What do you like about him? Well, we think he's a special uh, athlete and I think he can do a lot of things. I think he can line up at receiver and be one of those guys that you can use in the red zone. I, I think don't be surprised if he can get open in the open field and make big catches. He's just extremely athletic. Uh, you can move him around. He can. He's an outstanding basketball player. I mean this guy is a special athlete uh, that really his demeanor uh, and his work ethic stands out as well. We're, we're excited to get him here and I think he's gonna enroll early, uh, get here and showcase uh, exactly that uh, you know he's ready to play. He's ready to participate and play against the big boys and I think he'll do a great job. What should Purdue fans know about the quarterback Michael Alamo? Well we like Michael Alamo. He's got a big arm. He's a good athlete. I think he's played great competition uh, in the conference he's in in New Jersey. Uh, he's a guy that really I think carries a lot of confidence. Um, uh, carries a lot of a playmaking ability. He's kind of played in an offense that really didn't spread it out a whole lot. He had to kind of run within his system, which was a uh, you know two-back system where he got to throw when he needed to, but not all the time. But I think he really can develop. Uh, and in this system, I think he can uh, do a great job. We're going to have some receivers and some really good tight ends and hopefully can protect for him. But I think this guy could be a special player. Jeff, you had multiple guys commit to your program today who were committed somewhere else yesterday. What is that like for a head coach? Is that fun? Is it stressful? Is it weird? Well, recruiting never ends, and as you guys know, I mean, even after signing day, it doesn't end. There's, there's some openings that we have along with other teams as well, so you continue to recruit. But, uh, you know, we have to make sure we identify these needs we have and we go after young men, and if they're interested, we're going to continue that uh, to the full extent. And you look at Abdora at receiver, we think this guy is a special player. I think he's very gifted. He's very natural at what he does. Uh, I think he can come in and play right away and fit right into this receiving core. Uh, and this guy just exudes confidence as well. But his route running, his ability to make plays, his ball skills are really second to none. You have a running back, Marcellus Moore, who is fast to the tune that he broke state track records. I'm sorry that type of exciting player doesn't fit into the system you like to run on offense. Well, I think... A, running back Tariq Murphy, who we got from New York, is a special player. He's got a great blend of speed and toughness and strength. And then you look at Marcellus Moore, who you can do a lot of things with. We're going to play him in the slot at receiver. You can move him in the backfield if you need to. This guy is probably the fastest guy in the country. Uh, he just got tremendous speed, so it's going to be our job to get him the ball. But I think when you do, uh, when you have that type of speed, it's hard to catch. It's hard to tackle. And I think uh, he loves the game of football. He's going to come in here and probably run track as well. Uh, but both, both of those players, in our opinion, can, can come in and we'll get an opportunity to play this first year. Jeff, big picture, 
How have you done this? I mean, Purdue, the decade before you, was consistently at the bottom of the Big Ten. Now you're bringing in top 25 classes year after year. Well, I think it's a credit to our recruiting uh, director, Aaron Hodges, all of our assistant coaches for all the work they put in. We've got great facilities now. We've had great fan support. Our administration has really uh, done a great job. And now we've got to go out and produce. And I think our team is getting better. Uh, they're working hard. Uh, this past year, there are some uh, newcomers out there that uh, you know need to continue to improve and get better. But I think with the mix and the influx of these young guys, uh, with the work ethic that we need to have and that we need to prove that we want to be committed to doing everything in our power to win, and the conference we play in is an outstanding conference. A lot of tr uh, extremely talented teams uh, that we've got to step up our level of play, try to compete against the very best, but it's going to be fun to do that with these guys we have. And I know they're looking for the challenge, and our coaches are as well. It has been fun to watch you totally revolutionize this program and make them nationally relevant once again. Jeff Brom, congratulations on this signing day class. Thanks for talking to us. Oh, oh, thank you very much.